Today's matchup, the Boston Red Sox take on the Houston Astros. Hey, you know what? We got that guy from the uh, radio station doing the seventh inning stretch with us today. You know anything about him? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I Matt, sure do. Merrick, Gary, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Matthews. Matthews. I'll tell you, he does not have a voice to sing. I'll tell you, the crowd's going to turn on him like bumblebees on a yeah. cub. Well, I'm not crazy about doing these interviews with these so called uh, you know, celebrities. Uh, you want to handle that today? I'll just... Sure. Okay. I know him well. So, are you excited about the game? Yeah, no, Tim, I'm not. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, good. I think it's going to be a great one. And hello again, everybody. Welcome once again. I'm Tim Kitzo, and this is my partner, Jim Shorts. Jimmy? Thanks, Tim. Boy, you're, you're loud today. And calm it down, okay? I got a headache. I am excited about today's game, partner. Let's play ball. And so the leadoff hitter steps up to the plate. Hit hard to the shortstop, and he pulls it down. One out. Bases are empty. And he doesn't bite on that pitch inside. He is a smart batter. Drives one foul. at the pitch off the plate. Uh, good thing he didn't swing at that one, Tim. That was terrible. Pitch on the way. Line foul. Holds up on the pitch out of the strike zone. He is, he is, you can't fool this guy. Martinez with the windup. It might be. It could be, and it does touch them all. It's a home run, and Osmus puts his team ahead by one. Pop goes the weasel. Man, oh man, he took the weasel's head off. That was a lethal swing. And that just got over the wall. And he hit the ball awfully hard. I thought it was going to go even further than it did, Jim. Nevertheless, he'll he'll take his little home run trot. Looked like someone caught the ball out there. That's a scary thing when uh, that ball's coming at you in the stands. People start jumping all over you. One out. Nobody on base. Bagwell looking for a pitch he can drive. Martinez. Winds up. Hit hard over the shortstop. Bagwell heads for second. Rounding second. And Bagwell reaches third base safely. And he popped that ball loose. It's only one out, and they've got a man on third. Berkman gets ready. The move to third, and he's back safely. He swung on to that one. It's sharply, but foul. Martinez, and here's the windup, and he lifts this one to right field, and Nixon pulls it in, and he's out at third base, and that's a double play. After a half inning of play, the Astros lead by one. I took a few swings of batting practice uh, this morning, then they let me do that, and then I took a pitch right into the neck, swole up like a beehive. 
Jimmy, my dad always used to put a little gasoline on a rag uh, when we got a bee sting. It, uh, it takes the bite away. And he wasn't fooled by that pitch out of the zone. I can't tell if he's genius here or if he's just afraid to swing. And now the pitch. And that's line foul. Way out in front of that one. Good eye on the pitch in tight. He's being very selective right now. You gotta love that. Hit high in the air. This one has a chance. And it's gone! A home run! And Damon ties the game with one swing of the bat. He waited for his pitch and then he just unleashed on it. Man, oh man, this guy has some power. He got full extension of the bat out over the plate and was able to find the sweet spot. That was a shot. You know, as he makes his way around the bases, if you're the pitching coach, you go off the mound, what do you, what do you say to the guy here? I say, look, uh, that was one at bat. We got guys on our team with big sticks. Don't worry about it. Worry about getting the next guy out. No out. Nobody on base. Offerman takes a cold strike to count his own one. Oh, why don't you swing? You're standing there like you're waiting for a taxi. He's gonna be uh, taking a taxi to Palookaville soon there, Timmy. Hit hard into right center. Offerman rounds first. And Offerman has a double. No outs, man on second. Scorches one over the first baseman's head. This one's going to be trouble. Offerman heads for home. The Red Sox go up on top. And Garcia Parra winds up at second with a double. No outs, runner at second. Line smash to the shortstop. And Reynolds reels it in. The play at third. Out. And that's two. I don't think you can execute a double play any better than that. Two outs, nobody on base. It's sharply, but foul. The pitch. And he doesn't take the bait on that one. What a way to wait for your pitch. Gets under it, right field. And Clark is on first with a single. Two outs, a man on base. the count. You know, he must have a, like a splinter in his hand from the bat. Got under that one to left field. And Ward taking some liberties with that catch. And that'll do it for this inning. At the end of one, the Red Sox lead by one. My daughter Maggie's kids starting uh, with that soccer thing. Boy, well, they're running around the yard kicking a ball. That ain't a sport. It's just running around kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. Chopped hard, right side. Martinez plays it off the bounce. One out. Bases are empty. Ward. 
Fires. And he holds up on the pitch in close. He has got tremendous eyes. Sends a blast right field. He makes the grab. Ah, base hit one, base. Ah. Two outs, nobody on base. Got under that one, into foul territory. Ginsburg takes a cold strike, 0 2. He took a little something off that one. And that's line to work. A sensational catch. And that'll do it for this half inning. At the middle of two, the Red Sox lead by one. A lot of families at the ballpark. You know, that's good to see that, Tim. And here comes the batter for plate to lead off the inning. Line foul. Nixon takes a strike. They count his own two. Yeah, Jimmy, I saw this kid in batting practice today. He was just pumping him out. It just one moonshot after another, and now comes game time, and it's all, it's all knuckles, white knuckles. Drives one to left field, and Ward makes a nifty catch. I broke my knuckles once. Yeah, they are ugly, Jimmy. Up one out, nobody on base. <laughs> Reynolds, now the windup. Hit in the air to left. And he puts it away. Oh, come on, dive for that, you sissy. Two outs, nobody on base. Veritek takes a cold strike. Oh, this guy's sitting around there waiting for a bus or something. Play baseball. Hit sharply to the shortstop. And Reynolds pulls it in to end the frame. And so, at the end of two, the Red Sox lead by one. You know, they ought to dress the cleats up a little, make them more like golf shoes. Put some little flaps on them. What do they call those bucks? Ends up a drive to right field. Nixon feels this one on the bounce. And Merced has himself a single. No outs and a man on. Lugo looking for a good pitch. And he lifts this one to right field. The play at second, out. And Lugo is on first with a single. One out, man on first. Biggio stands in. Martinez, the windup. And Martinez pulls it down. And he's out at first base. And they turn the double play. Ah, uh, Tim, I tell you, there's a textbook exam behind the turn of double play. Going to the bottom of the third, the Red Sox lead by one. Hey, fellas, lonely? Want to meet a nice girl? Come out to the ballpark. Lots of cuties here. Damon, and he is one for one today. He cranked his solo shot last time up. And he shows a good eye holding up on that pitch. And this guy is working the count very nicely. Reynolds with the windup. Fly ball, left center. Ward fields it off the bound. Safe at first. And Damon reaches base safely. Offerman, one for one this game. Doubled last time up. Stands in. Hey man, 
The pick off to first, and he's safe. And he doesn't take the bait on the pitch away. He's got eyes of an owl, Tim. Ho, ho. Sends up a drive right center. Damon, rounding second. The play at third. And Offerman is on with a single. No outs, runners on base. Garcia Parra steps in. It's sharply, but foul. Get on the line over the first baseman. Damon heads for home. The Red Sox extend their lead. The Red Sox extend their lead. And Garcia Parra ends up at third with a triple. Ramirez, over one to this point. Flying out his last at bat. No outs, man on third. Digs in. Fly ball, right field. The Red Sox widen their lead. And Ramirez is on first with a single. Clark, one for one on the day. Singled last time up. The pitch. And that's lined over the second baseman. Hidalgo, and he comes up empty. Henderson, 0 for 1 thus far. Flying out his last at bat. No outs, men on second and third. Gets ready. Fooled him with that pitch. Now, if you notice this guy, Jimmy, he's hunched over that thing like he's uh, bobbing for apples over that plate. He, he needs to straighten his back up and get his eyes focused on the pitcher. He ought to just be stiff. And that ball is caught by the right fielder. And he dropped the ball. Nixon, nothing doing today. Flight out has last at bat. Only one out here, and they've got runners at second and third. And now the pitch. Line shot over the first baseman's head. One run is across. The Red Sox are on fire. The throw to second, and Nixon pulls up at second with a double. One out with a runner on second. This guy has got quite an arm, huh, Jimmy? He's got huge arms, Tim. Look at that at home. Hit right back to the pitcher. And he pulls it down. Vertek, over for 1 thus far. Flying out his last at bat. There are two outs. Runner on second. Chops hard left side. Guns it to first in time. At the end of three, the Red Sox lead by six. I gotta stand up. I'm starting to cramp. You want me to rub your legs? Yeah, with some number six coarse sandpaper, I would. And here comes the batter to the plate, lead off the inning. Over one to this point. Fly it out his last at bat. One out, runner at first base. T-shirt, 
delivers. Line smash into left field. Osmus, rounding second, guns it to third. And Berkman has himself a base hit. Only one out and runners on base. Hidalgo steps into the batter's box. Now that just wasn't his pitch. He's just he's just floundering now, Jimmy. He has no idea what he's doing. He gets under this one, hit to right center. Nixon picks it up off the bounce. The throw to third, and Hidalgo has himself a single. Just one out, and the bases are jammed. Ward digs in. Ward takes a cold strike. Oh, and one's the count. Oh, that one had base hit written all over it. Pitch on the way. Hit sharply first base. And he puts it away. There are two outs, and the bases are jacked. Ginsburg takes a strike, 0 1. I tell you, he didn't miss it. It's a uh, person playing this game, not hitting the swing button. Fly ball, left field. He makes the grab, and that'll retire the side. And so in the middle of the fourth, the Red Sox lead by six. Tim, I read today that kitchen utensils are gonna hurt more people tonight than lifting heavy objects during the day. Actually, I was aware of that, Jimmy. Fascinating, huh? Damon, two hits and two at-bats. Single last time up. Hit in the air, but foul. <laughs> oh, fooled him on that one. Right now, this guy has a stance. It, it, it resembles a corkscrew. He's, he's just, he needs to straighten up. He needs to align his shoulders. Look at the way he's dropping that shoulder, Jimmy. And he laces one over the shortstop. Bruce to first, safe. No out, a man on base. A quick throw to first, and he didn't get him. Hit high in the air, left center, and he'll make the play. He had an easy catch there. And that's two. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a double beautiful executed play. Two outs, nobody on base. Fire. And he gets hit by the pitch. Good thing he's wearing his helmet because he just took a noodle buster to the noggin. And now he's talking to the pitcher. Two outs, a man on base. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-1. That was just sheer power. He didn't have a chance on that pitch. Sends up a drive to right field. Garcia Parra, rounding second. Garcia Parra, round third. The Red Sox are having their way right now. And Ramirez reaches third base safely. Two outs, and a runner at third base. field. Clark rounding first and Ramirez scores to widen the lead. He is out of there. At the end of four, Boston leads by eight. Today's How Far Did That Ball Go Anyway winner will be chosen after the game. Brought to you by the folks at Cheap Seats Airlines. You'll like our fares. They're cheap, like you.
You've never seen a cheaper looking seat. Merced, one for one this game. Single last time up. And he ropes one over the second baseman's head. And he pulls it down. One out, nobody on base. Martinez winds up. It might be. It could be. And it does. Touch them all. It's a home run. And Lugo narrows the deficit. And he just absolutely crushed that ball. That was a shot. You hang a pitch out there, Tim, over the plate like that, and the hitters start licking their chop. That was a nice, fat, juicy one. I bet it tasted good, too. He got full extension and hit it right on the sweet spot. He really turned on that one. Oh, did he spank that thing. Man, oh, man, oh, man. One out, nobody on base. There's a shot into right center. Biggio rounds first. Rounding second. And Biggio heads into third with a triple. Only one out, and they've got a man on third. Osmus steps in. And he looks at one inside. This fella's hitting coach is, uh, I don't think he's gonna be with the club much longer. He could manage his own team. He's really improved all these players. And he ropes one over the shortstop. This ball is going to be trouble. And Osmus reaches base safely. Bagwell, one for two thus far. Fly it out has lasted bad. Martinez sets up. Drives that one to center field. And Damon makes the catch. Yums it to first. He is safe. Berkman, one for two in this game. Single last time up. Two outs, a man on base. Line shot to first. And Clark makes the catch for the final out. And that ends the frame. Today's Sloppy Joe Play of the Game is brought to you by the folks at Sloppy Foods. After that half inning of play, Boston leads by six. We make sloppy food that's oh so neat to eat. That'll be coming up after the game. Henderson, 0 for 2 on the day. Fly it out his last at bat. Get on the line toward third. And Ensberg pulls it in. One out. Bases are empty. Nixon takes a cold strike. He just had no clue on that one. Ball is really exploding. Not much you can do with a pitch like that. Got under that one to center field. And Berkman makes the grab. Hillenbrand, 0 for 2 so far. Fly it out his last at bat. Hillenbrand takes a cold strike. The count is 0-1. You know, this fellow might want to study that Zen, because in Zen, it's Chinese. It's when you unhit the ball. Sends a blast. Drifting foul. Releases. And he looks at a cold strike three. 
you know, he, he should be sent down on the minors. This is ridiculous. And so at the end of the inning, Boston leads by six. Today's breaking a sweat play of the day is brought to you by Sportwater. Try their new Mississippi Blackwater or the original Yellow River Sportwater. Who asks, is it coming out of you? And here comes the first batter to lead off the inning. And a new pitcher has come into the game. The pitch crushes it to deep center field. The play at second. He's in there safely. No outs, runner at second. Urbina winds up. Get on the line and caught by the pitcher for the out. I don't think you can execute a double play any better than that. And that's a double play. Ginsburg, 0 for 2 in this game. Flying out has lost it back. There's a shot to the shortstop. The play at first. He got him. You know, if he run a little bit harder, he might have made that. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. After that half inning of play, Boston leads by six. Have you ever wondered why coaches wear uniforms? I mean, they don't play the game. I think a coach should have to bat and field during one inning. Now, that'd make the game more interesting. Well, actually, Jim, I think they ought to wear a suit and tie to the game. And that's lined over the third baseman. And it bounces off the wall. Ward fields this one on the bounce. And Vertek has himself a base hit. Damon, three for three on the day. Single last time up. Stares down the pitcher. Drives one to center field. He makes the grab. Routine play. Offerman, two for three thus far. Fly it out is last at bat. One out, man on first. Hey, Tim, how, when you go to a baseball game when you were a little kid, how many hot dogs did you eat at once before you puked? Hard to believe, Jimmy, but I have never eaten a hot dog. Love the Chinese, though. Isn't that funny? I'm into Mushu big time. Reynolds, now the windup. And that's line foul. Yeah, Jimmy, if, if I was a player, I think I'd grow a big pirate beard. That, that would be awfully intimidating, huh? And now the pitch. Offerman takes a call, strike 0-2. Now look at the way he's gripping that bat, Jimmy. His, his knuckles are so tight they're turning white. He's got to relax that grip, move those fingers around a little bit. He's got to free himself up. Gary Pig Knuckles. No, I haven't, but they sound tasty. Jim, this guy's got all the goods. He could, he could go all the way. Two outs, one on. Yeah, all the way, Tim, to uh, Cooper. Cooper's down. Yeah, whatever. Garcia Parra takes a strike, going one. You know, good thing he didn't swing at that one. He might have actually hit something for once. And he ropes one to short. And he puts it away. And that ends the inning. After the bottom half of the inning, Boston leads by six. Tim, what is in a resin bag? Is it raisins or resin? What is resin? Actually, Jimmy, I believe it's Redson. It's uh, found in most uh, breath mints. Hey, 
good eye on the pitch in tight. Oh, good thing he didn't swing there. It's sharply toward third. And he pulls it down. One out. Bases are empty. Sends a blast right field. This one could be trouble. Lugo rounding first. And Lugo is on first with a single. Biggio. And he is one for three today. And he tripled last time up. It's sharply, but foul. And he ropes one over the third baseman. Biggio rounding first. The play at second, and so the Red Sox get the win after a hard-fought battle. And that'll do it for us. Jimmy and I will be back on the air again tomorrow, 1:20. Or they can just restart the game.